Okay, welcome back to uh, Force Hobbies here. This is a video here how to do the um, super cuts, which I'm sure you guys probably are um, no videos on YouTube yet about it. But this is for the Vendetta, Vendetta slipper cut here, as you can see there. Vendetta, there we go. This is how you, instructions how to do it. I already know how to do it already. Uh, I'm actually putting the Vendetta slipper cut in my vortex, right there. I've been using this slipper cut here for a while now on the vortex and. The uh, spur gear had one, so there you go. There you go. Not that it's all beat up. It's on a different angle here because my GoPro doesn't work, so I gotta use my phone to record this. But it should be like a five five minute video here. Uh, yep, the instructions do indicate uh, this is a fifty five spur, fifty five, which is gonna fit my eighteen tooth pinion here on this vortex here. The stock one from the Veneta was a fifty tooth, which this one here is completely garbage, and the bull bearings aren't the smoothest so this one here went it stripped the 50 spur had it for the whole season though so this burgie here actually works pretty well this is the slipper clutch here fits perfectly in this nice new spur very easily boom follow the directions here and you just put this guy here right in there so automatically it already looks pretty much uh, complete already here the trick is with this one here though is you gotta follow the steps here. So, <clears throat> this ball bearing sits over here, but we're gonna put this ball bearing here into here. This piece here comes with the kit here, so you get the real big kit with this here, and then you just kinda, when you put the ball bearing on here, I guess when you put it in, it slides all the way forward, like so. So you push it down. Uh, uh. Now you have the ball bearing that sits perfectly inside here. So uh, this one here, I cannot take it out. It's like stuck in there. So I just got a new ball bearing. New set of ball bearings actually completely from uh, eBay. They're really, really nice. Let's go ahead and just put this stuff here back. And no matter how big it is, as long as you get the one specified for the truck, if it's a 50, 55 tooth, you know, 55 spur, 57 spur comes stock with this one here, but I couldn't find a 57 spur. And then the next step is you're really just gonna put, you're gonna yank this one here. This will go all the way through the hole. So, and then we have, you know, I gotta say, wow, wow, Mr. Force, how did you get that, this pin in there, right? The pin. There's a pin right over here, as you can guys see. The pin all the way here in the far back. That should be like step number two. So you can see this over here. You can see the pin, right guys? That pin there, right over here, there's the, uh, I can call that the old shit pin. Because if you misplace that pin, something may happen to it. Um, you will not be able to put this clutch in there and, you won't, and this will be turning. So if you don't put that pin in there, this clutch ain't gonna work. Um, now, uh, I did it off camera. I, this is my second time doing it already, so it's um, uh, just gonna be very uh, careful, have gravity kind of work with you there when you're doing it, because um, everything here is moving. I just get my hand out of the way there. See, everything here moves unless you put this nut on there, okay? So the nut. So obviously here now, the next step, you can put the spring here. That's your spring, and you can put the nut right on top there. And this, this is a really nice uh, locking nut here that really allows this clutch to be nice and tight. So, let's see if I can get the thread on here already on my hand. Okay, good, I got the thread on there. So, uh, if you guys don't have a uh, nice socket wrench here, let me get my socket wrench out here. You know, the socket wrench to fix this thing, there's probably uh, something wrong with you. You need a uh, socket wrench here. So, you don't have a socket wrench like this. This is 12 millimeter. You probably shouldn't be working on your RC car, and just take it. Might as well just take it to the shop to get it fixed. Um, yeah, so nice and now it's nice and tight. So obviously you want to make this tighter. So let's see if I can do this over here with the camera here. So I recommend definitely a nice 12 millimeter sock. You don't have to get a soccer wrench. You can really these nuts they sell for like ten, uh, eight dollars for a two pack because people strip them out using using this. To take it off 
I mean, you shouldn't be taking using that anyway to take it off. But the way I did the uh, pin, which is super important, probably you guys want to see this stuff here. Hold it like this. Let kind of gravity work for you. I put some tape here to cover the slipper clutch here, the pad. Put some tape there to hold the slipper up there. And I just kind of had the uh, pin, had the pin laying there. And I, then I just kind of had a pin laying in my, um, I guess, the back of the uh, spur, the back of the slipper cut here, this piece here, kind of just laying in a hole. Unfortunately, with this, uh, if you put the pin too far in, you're not going to be able to put the uh, the red the red tubing in there. Be very careful. Have gravity work for you. You take your little tool here. You take your little, uh, whatever you have, you know, you can have a two millimeter uh, Allen key. And when you have the pin... You just kind of line them up with some nice lighting and just put it in, put the pin through the hole and boom, it, it's it's good. Now, um, if you lose that pin in there while disassembling this or changing your clothes, it's super easy to do this. The main thing is with this is the freaking, the freaking pin. Now, when you lose the pin, yeah, you say, oh shit, the oh shit pin. Just like an AR-15, man, you lose that pin for that bolt. It's an oh shit pin right there. You can't put the bolt assembly in the in the damn gun without that damn pin, the cotter pin. That's a cotter pin. Now this is a regular, this is a regular RC pin here. So as you see here, so how tight you want to make it? Well, it depends. How tight does she want it? You know what I'm saying? How tight you want to go? You can go all the way in. Nice resistance there, and then I just kind of I go back a little bit. I go back slightly in the clutch, just some slipper play. So it's not too tight in there. Look at that spring, how compressed it is. It's pretty compressed. So you can go back out a little bit more. And um, you don't want this thing to be super tight, man. The reason why these things go, they just get too tight. These ball bearings here are from eBay. You can get a nice 10 pack. Shut the light off here. Actually, the light does help here. Wow, okay, go over there. This is my phone here. These ball bearings here, you can get on eBay for like $10. Look up the ball bearings from your, from your code here. Uh, the ARs are right here for the ball bearings. If you lose the, these ball bearings, you break a lot. So you get a 10-pack for like 10 bucks on, on eBay uh, or Amazon. They sell them here. Very, very nice sealed ball bearings. And um, just have them in spare. And this pin here is an AR pin right here. You lose this pin, that's it. You got to get another pin. And these they sell these also as well. They're nuts. When you strip the nuts, you can get more nuts. So I'm trying to strip your nuts, guys. Very, very easy. But this clutch here, the main thing is holding it up from here and putting the, just putting the pin inside, holding it vertical like this, guys, and just putting the pin in there. So super easy. These are great clutches here. I'm using it again for my, vort my Vortex. It's a Medetta Simple Clutch with a 55 spur. Already made the measurements. 18 tooth pinion. Wait, 18 tooth pinion is going to work perfect with this thing. It's just enough, just enough for a nice, for a nice mesh with the 18 tooth. So running good. Thanks all for watching, guys. Any questions, uh, just let me know here. But it's uh, super easy to do this over here, you know. Um, awesome clutch here. And uh, it's ready for the Vortex, so it's a big upgrade here. Obviously, I'm going to, I got everything disassembled here. I'm going to pop everything inside and see how this, this bay boy goes here. So, good gearing there for the for the uh, nice racing. This clutch here worked the whole season without no breakages. And I just had, like I said, you know, eventually they strip out, you know, from the bashing and stuff like that. Two runs at the pit and... The track all season and you know I'm not don't recommend going with these cheap ones from Amazon just fix it use your armor stuff it works really well and just don't over tighten your spring over here like I did you back out a cold, cold of a turn you should be okay thanks all for watching guys force hobbies out